So obviously the club recently launched a marketing campaign based around yourself, Leroy Kudger and Kevin Brown, heading back from this year. It's a bit of a comedy angle. What's your take on that? Yeah, I think it's fantastic. It's uh, typical as well. I would be driving in the front seat. I've always got shotgun anyway. So it, it, it's a bit of fun and that's what it's all about. And it would be great to get back to the golf arm. So obviously it's been three victories in a row this year, but there really is no place like home like this place, is there? Yeah, that's it, especially if you see the pitch now, it's sensational and that, that's what it's all about, getting back onto this big field. I mean, we've enjoyed it this year, it's been fantastic and the atmosphere has been brilliant, but we really want to push it now for the golf fan. This is our home and this is where we want all our fans to turn up and watch us play. Earl's had it all eat the old stick from all the lads and that, and uh, to be honest, it's just a great place to be at, the golf arm. It's just, it feels like home, so I can't wait to get back. So obviously you've already mentioned the pitch, we can see it's starting to take shape now and they, they tell us it could be a surface as good as Wembley, so how much would you look forward to playing on that one? Uh, I think it would be sensational. The way it looks now, I think it would probably be better than Wembley and I have played on that pitch. It's unbelievable how it's all worked out and how fast the grass is growing. They've done such a good job and all the grounds were near us. You know, sensational in the fact that they just worked so hard and um, I just want to get out there and play on it now. Well, Huddersfield still got the 10 point lead. Danny Brough. Oh, Brough, oh. the twinkle toes, the dancing feet. Strictly come up the lead. Danny Brough has danced his way through. Robinson groggily to his feet. Here is uh, Griggs. He finds Brown. Brown to McGilvery. Great try. We know what it takes to beat them. Like I say, Warren and top class side you just got like I say you got to go out there and produce the best on the day and we've done that twice before we've really got into a stuck into them and really give them a game so I think we know what it takes to beat them it's just whether we go out there and produce it on the day yeah it does give you a bit of confidence going into a game where you know that you can win this game you know it's, it's good to have that sort of belief in yourself but we know that Warrington have improved over the season the scoring for fun and we know we have to be on top of our game and if we're not then we'll be in trouble are the players still aiming for a top two finish this year do you think yeah, well, why not? That's what we've got to aim for, that's what we've got, got to go for. You know, reach for the stars, basically. If we don't do that, then again, we'll, we'll be not where we want to be. And we've um, been there a few times where we've been disappointed with the, how we've ended up at the end of the season. We need to get ourselves into a strong position and push on for the playoffs. Yeah.